You're watching Cartoon Network. At approximately 1,400 hours, state and federal authorities uncovered a duffel bag in the woods. Said bag contains 24 hours of Scooby-Doo episodes. Excuse me, what, what episodes? The Spacey Space Kook? Which which? Yes, is which? all of them. Will you be releasing them to the public? We'll be showing them in a uh, marathon-type situation. What about the whereabouts of the kids? Where are I the kids? I can't discuss that at this time. You'll just have to Kevin watch the marathon. The no more questions. Hey, excuse me, over here. Where are the kids? The public has it right now. Were there animals in the van? abandoned groovy van was found days ago beside a dirt road. Search parties have spent several days searching the woods and found hundreds of Hello, I'm Velma Dinkley, and this is a documentary of one of our mysteries. That's Scooby-Doo, Red Jones, and Daphne Blake. Hey, how you doing? Of course, I want to play myself in the movie version, and that's Norville Rogers. It's Shaggy. Like, nobody calls me normal. What's the matter, Norville? <laughs> that's not on tape, is it? Something wrong, Norville. Norville, Norville, Norville. <laughs> Very funny. Norville. <laughs> <laughs> and to Scoob. <laughs> A staple for every mystery. Scooby Snacks. Yeah, uh, Scooby Snacks. Yum, yum. Have you heard anything about these woods being haunted? Well, you know, my grandparents used to tell a story about uh, some 10-foot-tall spikes on his arms, monster wandering in the woods. But just crazy talk, really. Uh, it, was, it was right above us. It was big. It was, it was puffy. It was, it, was, it was globby or something. I don't know what you want to call it. But it was big, there was a glow to it. It was just right over the ridge there. The eyes, the eyes would burn a hole in you, just glowing, burning, freakish eyes. Aliens, bioengineering, genetic mutations. I don't know what's going on, but it troubles me. I've heard about a ghost of a Civil War soldier that uh, exists around here. Giant? radioactive cattle but by the nuclear plant that kids say eats off of stray, lives off of stray dogs but I don't know I don't believe that stuff hmm, it doesn't add up all their stories are different right all right giant rats oh. she said giant cat not rat Scooby that's what I said rat cat well rat <laughs> Have you heard anything about these woods being haunted? Uh, no, no, I'm not really from around here, so I, I wouldn't know anything about haunted or anything, but, uh, say, you guys look familiar to me. I think you're on that show, aren't you guys on that show? Like, uh, what show are you talking about? Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, that, uh, that mystery, uh, uh, sleuthing thing, you know, where you're chasing around after the ghost and the witches and all that. It's, uh, it's like a mystery deal. You're cartoons, aren't you? Have you heard these woods are haunted? You kids stay away. Those woods are cursed. I never go near them. Like I bet she never goes near a dentist either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the map says the sightings are this way. I got a weird feeling about this. 
Like these woods don't look like our regular woods. They look different. What are you talking about? Like I don't know. Things just look more realistic. <laughs> realistic. Come on, guys, it'll be fun. Don't forget, it's my turn to pull off the mask. We are now leaving the van and going into the woods. Bye, Bye van. Bye, van. Like, why do we have to always do these things when it's almost dark? Here's the cemetery where the curse in these woods began. Like, that's really fascinating. <laughs> why can't we go now? What do you mean? We're going to camp here. How else can we learn about the curse? Camp here? By a cemetery? Like, I didn't sign on for this. The local legend is that one spooky night in 1773, Oh, it's getting late, and we've been walking forever looking for the creature in these woods. Whoever or whatever it is that's trying to scare us. Well, I for one think it's just some farmer who's peeved that we're on his land. Probably that freak with the mutant story. And it didn't help by sticking that camera in his face. Look, I'm just making a visual record here. Of what, Velma? How to get lost, live off the land, and use our dog for a blanket? Why, that reminds me. <laughs> I don't want to sleep outside again tonight, Velma. That gravestone did a number on my back. Uh -huh. You got any great ideas, Mr. Man? Would you please turn that thing off? We need to put up the tent. Tent? Don't you mean tent? Hmm, so much for my beauty rest. You mean we're all gonna pack into one tent like a bunch of sardines? Hmm, <laughs> sardines! Okay, now we're trying to put the tent up before it gets too dark, so I'm gonna keep rolling in case that spook appears. And now we're putting the tent poles into the grommets. We've got to make sure we put the tent tarp on. Now we're putting the stakes up to hold the tent. Will you please put the camera down, Velma? It might be easier without it. Well, I don't want to miss anything. Shut, Shut it off! Ah, <sighs> oh, get your feet out of my face. Who got these snack crumbs in my sleeping bag? Scooby? No, it's Raggy. Nuh-uh. It must be Fred. Uh, maybe it's Daphne. Now, why would I complain if it was me? Oh, Shaggy, watch it! Oh, sorry. Scooby, yeah. move your paw. Yeah. Go over my sleeping bag. You brought a sleeping bag? Like all I have is a rock for a pillow. A rock? Yeah. Watch those feet, Shaggy. Shaggy, take off your shoes. No, leave them on. Sorry. And there it was, standing on a hill above us. Claws raised, luring eyes, and a piercing scream like, like... Like this isn't a ghost story. We were all there. It turned out to be that old ship's captain, remember? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going on a trip to the moon, and I'm taking an apple, a banana, a chocolate cream pie. Uh, that was a good one, Scoob. A donut. Eggplant parmesan and uh, f uh, funnel cakes. I'm taking funnel cakes. Scoob, it's your turn. You got G. A uh, Scoob. A uh, Scooby. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's that noise? Get the camera, get the camera. Huh? What is that? Let's split up and check it out. No way, Jose. <laughs> Will someone go out there for a Scooby snack? Somebody? Anybody? <laughs> like, are you out of your mind? Can't you two just go out there dressed up as surgeons and confuse the monster in time to an operating table? You guys do great with monsters. We're like in the middle of the woods. Where are we going to find a gurney? I don't know. Improvise. <laughs> Out here, guys. What is it? They look like stacks of Scooby Snacks. Are you sure? Like there's only one way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> guys, hold on. We don't know. Oh, what... oh no! No! What? What is it? They're stale. They're completely and totally stale. Hey, gang. You know, I just realized something. What's that? I just realized that we've been out here what seven days. We haven't pulled a mask off anyone yet. And your point is? 
I don't know. I guess I miss the little things. How do you mean? Well, you know, every night we find a mystery and bang, 20, 22 minutes later, we solve it and go home. That's simple, not complicated like this. Yeah, whatever happened to ghouls who respected our curfew? Okay, somebody has piled Scooby snacks in weird little piles outside our tent. Like I'm not touching those things. Those are haunted Scooby snacks. That creature touched them. Forget it. They're all yours, Scooby. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Did you trick me? Did you put those there? Scoob, did you trick me? Did he trick me? Give me one of those. Come on. The van should be over there. I need a break. My feet hurt. Well, is it our fault you wore high heels on a hiking trip? At least I try to look feminine. The map says, uh, we should be... The van should be over there. We should be there in an hour. Oh, Velma, that's what you said two hours ago. You don't know where we are, do you? I know, if we just follow the map... Can we just figure this out and get uh, home? I'm done with monsters and curses. Put a fork in me. I'm done. Yeah, put a fork in me, too. Give me the um, map. Like, how can you read this map? It's just a dotted line and an X. Let's just keep moving. Look, will you just admit that we're lost, Velma? Fred, give me the map. I don't have the map. I gave it to you. I distinctly remember giving you the map. And I gave it back. Look, I don't want to get mad at you, Velma, so stop kidding. I'm not kidding. I don't have the map. <laughs> like I ate it, man. Scooby and I ate it with Tabasco. <laughs> yeah, Rabasco. <laughs> <laughs> it was like useless anyway. <laughs> you ate the map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we are so lost. We're close to the van. I, I know it. Would you come off it, Freddy? You have no idea where the mystery machine is. Why is it you're the one who's always driving anyway? Oh, is that how it is? Well, listen here, Ms. Smarty Pants. Maybe if you chip in for gas every once in a while, you could drive. Yeah, gas money. What? What was that? Does anyone understand what this dog is saying? Like, lay off, Scoob. Yeah. I want to go home. I'm working on it. Wait up, guys. I lost my glasses. Here we go again. Velma, for crying out loud. A glasses strap. How many times have we told you? A glasses strap. Could you just help me look? I can't see without my glasses. Oh, so you mean, could we find your glasses for you? Not now, Freddy. No, 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 wait a minute. She wants us to help her find her glasses, but she's not going to be helping. They're her glasses. She's not going to be helping find them. Like she's blind as a bat without them. It's nighttime, genius. Where'd she go? She wandered off. Velma! Over here! Oh, this is just great. Zoinks! We're never gonna get out of here! Zoinks? That's all you have to say, Zoinks? What the heck does that mean, anyway? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, what do you want me to say? Shinkies! <laughs> Fred? Daphne? What are you laughing at? <laughs> He's got a point, Velma. Jinkies is a word! Stop laughing! Jinkies! I think we're royally soinked! Is that better? <laughs> Stop laughing! Oh, man, 
I'm, I mean, I'm the calm one. I, I, I'm calm, I'm calm. You know, Scoob, this is the last time I get suckered into looking for a monster. Ever. Never again. I should be at home watching scary movies, not living in one, and eating some pizza. Yeah, uh, some pizza, uh, pepperoni pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Hawaiian. The sweet of the pineapple and the salty of the ham. Together really make it, Scoob. <laughs> What's that? That's no bird. It, it, that's not funny. Is that a joke? Fred? Daphne? Hello? Monster? Let go of my leg, Scoob! Hey, Scoob! Let go of my leg! Scooby, my, my circulation will be... Scoob! I'm uh, uh, Forget it! Why, green tree! We green tree! We green! Scooby-Doo, take one. Here's a tree. Here's some rocks. Here's a spooky cemetery. Here's a monster. And here's some more trees. And here's a monster. Rocky! Let's split up. They're always saying it. Well, I, for one, am sick of splitting up. It never helps, and I'm always getting stuck with Velma. Why are Fred and Daphne always heading off together anyway? I'm so hungry. You mean to tell me you're not scared? All I'm saying is that there's got to be a perfectly good explanation for all this. Smoke and mirrors, glow-in-the-dark paint, uh, a movie projector, a or... A movie projector? We're in the middle of nowhere, Freddy. How are they going to plug it in? Batteries? Right. A movie projector that runs on batteries? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Well, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe what? They've got a really long extension cord? Look, I'm just trying just to... Just admit that you're scared. I am not scared. <laughs> Do science! <laughs> This was supposed to be just another mystery in the woods. We were cocky. Why shouldn't we be? But then we got lost in over our heads. Was the curse real? Maybe this time we shouldn't have meddled. We shouldn't have meddled. Gang, do you hear that? What is that? Fred, wake up. It's right outside the tent. And the tent's open! I'm going outside the tent. Something's outside. Somebody's been in our backpacks. They ate our food. Oh. Scooby-Doo! <laughs> scooby dooby doo Thanks a lot, Scooby. Fred, wake up! Daphne? Oh, Daphne? Freddy, there's something out there again. Daphne! <clears throat> um, oh, darn, it was just a dream. Hmm. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Velma? There's no food, no clean clothes. I haven't painted my nails in two days. Shh! Did you hear that? Hello? Hello? Scooby? Scooby-Doo? Is that you? Puppy power! <laughs> Daphne, Daphne, wait! Daphne, come back! Daphne, stop! It's just Scrappy-Doo! What is it? What's wrong? I ripped my dress and my stockings and I broke a nail! I lost my scarf! It's my favorite one! Well, I suppose you think this is very funny. I ruined my stockings! I hope you're happy, Scoob. I just hope you're happy because I don't have another pair! Shh! I think I hear it again. Uncle Scooby! Uncle Scooby! Zoinks! That, that flashlight! All lights off! <gasps> What's he doing here? Why, did you call him Scoob? Uh-uh! 
He probably wants to solve the mystery for us. He loves doing that. Shh. Oh, oh man, did you hear that? Ah! Hiya, gang. Looks like there's a mystery to be solved. Hi, Hi Scrappy. Scrappy. Just wait till I get a hold of that monster, Uncle Scooby. He'll never know what hit him. I'll give him one of those and one of these. And Uncle Scooby can give him one of these and one of those. Won't you, Uncle Scooby? Won't you? Yeah, right, Scrappy. I don't think Scooby needs any help, Scrappy. What do you mean, Freddy? You guys haven't caught anybody yet? Now that I'm here, this mystery's gonna be wrapped up. It'll be solved before sunrise. That is, unless you chicken out, Freddy. It's Fred. There's only one thing you guys need. A good dose of puppy power! Oh, yeah, that's just what we need. Hey, it's that cookie creep! Let me at him! Let me at him! Come on, Uncle Scooby! Let's give him the old 1-4! One 1-4? Four. One four? Let me at him! Come on! Let me at him! Well, gang? Well, what? Well, we better find the way out of here fast! Yeah. Oh, man! <laughs> I think I found something. What is it, Freddy? It looks like an abandoned drive-in. What would a drive-in be doing all the way out here? Like I don't know, and I don't care. Just lead us to that snack bar. Yeah, snack bar. Shaggy, <laughs> that candy's got to be at least 30 years old. <laughs> The noises are coming from this house. Like, let's go in the haunted house in the middle of the night. Now I know why you're the smart one. Hello? Hello? Hey, look, a radio. Maybe we're on the news. Like, oh no, not music. We always get chased when there's music. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Why? Because it's Halloween, you know, October 31st, every year. Candy and bobbing for apples. I mean, you guys are dressed up, right? But why did you scare us at the cemetery last night? Anything. Well, if you didn't do it, then who? <laughs> a dirt road. Search parties have spent several days searching the woods and found hundreds of Scooby snacks, but no trace of the teenage sleuths have been found.
You're watching Cartoon Network. So let me get this straight. You're in the woods. Right. And you're lost. Uh-huh. And you're taping it. Yep. And they said it was just another tired rip-off of the Blair Witch Project? I know. <laughs> Man, that hurts. Tell me about it. 